Alexei is slowly coming to terms with the fact that he may be all alone, the last survivor. And he realises now that he has to start thinking about what he needs to do to survive. Yes, indeed. What does Alexei need to do to survive? Now, apart from killing anything that moves just before it bites his face off, he also needs supplies, he needs goods, he needs food, he needs weapons, he needs tools. And he's got a lot of that, but there is one thing that he is sadly lacking. He's lacking medical supplies. Uh, so, it's going to be a bit of a switch now. It's time for Alexei to have new tactics. The hunted now becomes the hunter. Alexei's got, now got a base. He's got somewhere safe he can retreat to if things go wrong. So no more sleeping in random places, scavenging food just to survive. It's time to start pillaging. It's time to start looting. So Alexei's identified somewhere on the map to the west uh, where there is a small village or town uh, to the east I should say and uh, we're gonna visit there he's loaded up with spears he's loaded up with food police batons he is ready to roll we're gonna hit that place we're gonna take down the zombies and we're gonna loot the hell out of the place let's do this Okay, so Alexei almost missed a turn in this fog. It is another foggy day, which is going to be problematic. It has been a long drive. It has been two or three hours. It is already mid-afternoon. There's not going to be many hours of daylight left, so Alexei really needs to pick up the pace. But at the end of this road, here we are. We have a blockade, but we have, uh, well, who knows what we have here. On the map, it is marked as industrial or warehouse. So we're going to be looking. This is a stop off on the way to uh, our final destination, which is a small town or village. Uh, but we've got industrial, where we've got ooh, we've got a zombie with a spear is what we've got. Um, we're going to be looking to loot this place for tools, nails, crafting supplies, maybe even sledgehammers, generators, all that sort of thing. We'll grab that spear. Uh, we've now got. What have we got? Alexis, come prepared. He's got two spare police batons and all of these different spears. So speaking of which, let's switch out to the spear. Let's investigate the uh, immediate area outside in the yards and clear the zombies. Okay, so Alexis is slowly working his way north. Just, ooh, wow, that did not last very long. Uh, let's get a spear with a hunting knife equipped. We're going to be using spears a lot. It is something that I think is going to really, really come through for Alexei. Because there could potentially be a lot of zombies to kill these next few days, weeks and months. I mean, I suppose that's always been the case, really. We've got another group here. Now, this area does not look, doesn't seem to be as anywhere as big as it actually looks on the map. So hopefully this will not take too long for Alexei to clear out, investigate the buildings, loot what he wants, and then move on. Okay, so it looks like this area is kind of split into two halves. It is kind of frustrating that there is, yet again, another blockade. It means that Alexei is going to have to travel around on foot uh, instead of coming right in with the car. There you go. That spear, absolutely deadly. Okay, well there's another spear gone. Let's just let's just go with the police baton for now. These spears are crafted by Alexei with his, uh, his somewhat novice carpentry skills. So it is not a surprise that they're not lasting very long. Uh, but um, it seems like we've pretty much cleared the area. Just nothing more than maybe a couple dozen zombies. And there are a lot of big buildings. So risk reward here could be really high. We've got big warehouse buildings up ahead. And yeah, it is fenced all the way around. Ooh, there is another zombie. <laughs> There's always another zombie. Uh, so I guess that maybe that's why there aren't that many zombies. It's, it's an enclosed space. So there's any zombies that are outside in the forested area, they're not going to be able to wander in. Uh, so this is, this is actually going uh, really easily for Alexi right now. Let's just make check every single corner make sure there's not a big horde somewhere just out of sight 
Okay, well this, it looks like this, this is the last zombie. I mean, there's probably going to be some zombies inside the buildings. Uh, speaking of which, let's start going inside. Let's check out the places and let's hopefully find some really, really decent loot. Okay, so we've got some potentially interesting loot. Lots of metal working gear. Maybe we'll find some tools and weapons. Uh, but one thing we will definitely need is a loot bag. <laughs> so Alex is going to have to go all the way back to the uh, other end uh, of this uh, industrial warehouse complex and grab a loot bag. Okay, so Alexi forgot to uh, check this uh, western corner, western side. I think that this is maybe some sort of rail yard. We got, <clears throat> we got the uh, railway sort of comes through here. So I think that's what the purpose of this place is. But yeah, there's could be some interesting potential for loot here. Okay, well, even the snow is dangerous in this playthrough. Alexi was uh, running while crouched. I thought that would eliminate any chance of him falling over and injuring himself, but apparently not. So, even the snow is dangerous, even the ground is dangerous and look at this i mean geez that is not expected that is not what alexi wants he's clearly not gonna be able to do <coughs> any running at all if he can help it because now he's got a limp we've probably got a damaged trousers as well but fortunately i think um that is all the zombies clear in the area so all that's going to be ahead is just more looting we're back at the vehicle let's grab a loot bag Let's see what we can find. We'll probably sleep in the car tonight. And um, hopefully the limp uh, is a lot better and has maybe almost gone in the morning. Because this is going to hamper uh, Alexi's ability to fight, that is for sure. Okay, so the first building is locked up tight. So we got the crowbar. We're going to have to try and pry it open. Hopefully uh, we can get inside. There we are, first time. Nice. Okay, so Alexis, he's gonna have to be, he's gonna have to be picky. He can afford to be picky. He does have a lot of weapons and tools back at base. I'm gonna be looking for really, just really super useful stuff like duct tape, something that he can use to repair uh, weapons, like the spears, for example. Uh, let's ditch that one. Yeah, well, that's the first building. I mean, he's got something. He's got duct tape. I mean, everything he gets that he's taking is going to be useful. It's going to help him in some small way. Hopefully, we can find something a little bit more rewarding in some of these other buildings. There's about six, seven buildings to look through, so it shouldn't take long. Okay, so Alex is in the next building. We've got uh, some sort of break room here. So it's possible we might find a little few bits of food. Uh, but it seems pretty quiet. I don't think we're going to find any more zombies apart from maybe the odd one or two. So hopefully this will give Alexi time uh, to recover. And uh, maybe that limp will have gone by tomorrow. Man, that, <laughs> that is a lot of barrels. Okay, well, this is like trying to manoeuvre through a maze. You can see you just can't quite fit in that sort of gap. So we actually have to go back outside and all the way around to get to those containers at the end but let's just see what's up here okay so i guess we got the manager's office I doubt there'll be anything worthwhile here okay there's absolutely nothing else in there we've got a couple more garages just up here hopefully we can start to find something a little bit more useful okay alexi's just catching up with his smokes I mean, there's not much in here by the look of it Ooh, I thought that was going to be a box of paper clips then. Box of screws. I'm sure we can use it to craft something. And now let's grab it. Okay, so we're in the next place. Now that, that's an interesting setup, isn't it? That looks interesting. <laughs> but nothing that we can loot. Ooh, yeah. We'll take the cigarettes. Man, we've got, we've got over 100 cigarettes now, which is awesome. Okay, well that is... That is half of the rail yard searched. 
And would you like to see what Alexis found so far? Yeah, we found some smokes, which is always very, very welcome, but that's it. That's it, and that doesn't, we can't include the scrap and the spear. Just a duct tape, hard hat, box of screws, a bit of wood glue, <sighs> and a nasty limp. So at the moment, Alexis is down on the deal, but we got the other half, um, maybe things will improve. Okay, so Alexi almost missed this uh, little cubicle, I don't know what you'd call it, guard hut. Ooh, that's useful. Right in the top corner, nothing. I mean, it's nine o'clock. There's no way Alexi is going to make it to his final destination today. So this is where we're going to be sleeping, I think, for tonight. It's right in the corner. Yep, that chair won't be the most comfortable, but it's got high fences all the way around. It's right in the corner of this uh, rail yard. So that's where we'll be coming back. We've got a couple more buildings to search first. Ah, will you look just how dark it is in there. Man, that is, that is dicey. Oh wow, that is, yeah, let's get the torch. I'm not going in there blundering around in the dark. Let's get the torch. Okay, so Alexis managed to get the torch on the belt in place of the hunting knife. But man, it is still dark and dingy in here. Maybe we should be looking out for a stronger, better torch. But oh man, not a single zombie in any of these buildings. Probably shouldn't say that just as I'm about to go through another door. Uh, well, it doesn't look like we're really, really going to find much of use here at all. Uh, at least very little. Let's finish the job, though. We don't want to miss anything. Okay, this, this is dicey. This is very limited visibility. Alexis is having panic, attack, panic attacks just, just walking around this place. This, yeah, it's starting to feel almost like a horror game. Yeah, Alexis will be glad to get out of here. That was, that was dicey. Didn't like the atmosphere of that place at all. We've got one more building to search. A lot of crates, but man, it is dark. Alexi's going to be, he's looking forward to the morning, that is for sure. Okay, that's the rail yard done with. Let's get to that little corner sort of guard hut or shed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, really on cue, Alexi is now drowsy, he's tired. It is dark. Man, those warehouses are really, really dark, very spooky. It's, yeah, it's not a great amount of loot. Got some useful stuff, some nails, a few weapons, some seeds, quite a few lot, quite a few bits of seeds. Um, but no, nothing really amazing, nothing exciting like generators or sledgehammers. Nothing that would really make a massive difference to Alexi. But let's get into bed. We need to be hitting the road early in the morning. It's still got another couple of hours drive to get to um, the next town. And that's where the real work will begin and hopefully that's where the real loot will be found. Okay, so Lexi has made it without any sort of incident through the night and his limp. It's a little bit better. He's still maybe not moving completely naturally, completely freely, and he's kind of ruined his army trousers on the right leg, which is a real shame because they were really given a lot of protection. Uh, let's have a smoke. We've got a big day ahead. There's still a long drive to get to the next town and there could potentially be a lot of zombies. Okay, so Alex is about two thirds of the way in towards town. We're coming up to the sort of outskirts. We're just, hopefully just another hour's drive away. But look what we've got here. We got at a gas station. Now, we don't need to fill up on gas, but hopefully there'll be some supplies, but boy. Is it quiet? Let's make this pit stop quick. It is already 10.30 in the morning. Now let's get inside. Hopefully we can find some loot. Okay, here we go. This is what we're talking about. Alexi is really thirsty. He's running low on water. But yeah, there's potentially exactly what Alexi needs to get him through today. Wow, would you look at that. I mean, Alexi has basically eaten everything on the shelves. Uh, but another... 30 cigarettes, that is absolutely awesome. That'll keep him going, you know, a couple of days. Okay, well, I guess the legs is uh, reduced. Can we even fill it up from here? No, we cannot. Can you hear that noise? Tell me you can hear that noise and, and uh, Lexi's not imagining it. That sounds 
like some air activity and that sounds like it is getting closer what is going on let's get out of sight let's get in the car let's hope we're not noticed and let's hope, let's hope it passes by without any incident okay so it appeared to be some sort of jet plane and it passed right over Alexi's head there's no contact on I don't know if that means they, they saw Alexi or not and let's forget about it let's move on Anyway, Alexi missed the turn. It's just here, and we got to, there's a big. That was a big horde of zombies. I hope that is not a sign of things to come. We are now getting onto the outskirts of town. Well, that is the name of the town. That is the name of the town. Translations would be very welcome. Do let me know down in the comments uh, what that name translates to. Okay, so here we are, We're coming into town. We got some crops, but they do look ruined. Now, Alexis feeling bullish. Ooh, there's an interesting looking vehicle there. We definitely need to keep an eye out for a vehicle, but we're not going to be sneaking around. We're not going to try and fight every zombie. Ooh, well, there are a lot of zombies here. We want to try and pass on through this residential. Uh, we've got some particular targets that Alexi wants to take out. He's not here to take over the whole town. Okay, so we're kind of coming up into the center of town. This is where Alexi's got an important decision to make. When does he jump out the vehicle? He's decided that that's now. And he's just remembered. Oof, man, that was close. He's just remembered that running is not a good idea, so he needs to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, this is definitely a job for the beta blockers, and this is definitely a job for the spear. He got a good couple of dozen zombies to take care of. Okay, so Alexis finding himself walking through a forest. What on earth is he doing? He can't run. He's too scared to run. He's too scared that he's going to slip over and fall. And that is going to be it. Man, he's got a lot of zombies on him right now. This, this, this is a, maybe a little bit reckless. Okay, so that, that is quite a lot of zombies. But Alexis... Uh, well, sometimes you just got to run. Alexis got them all on the one side, so hopefully... The spear can work its magic and we can get through this what can only be described as a horde in no time at all. Okay, I gotta say, not being able to run or not wanting to run is making things really tricky maneuvering around zombies. Alexis having to be really careful, really thoughtful about how he moves around, where he goes. But he's already taken down a good seven or eight zombies without too much trouble so hopefully yeah I mean that's a lot who knows hopefully the uh, beta blocker will last a little bit longer but you can see just how useful how effective that spear is that's why he's bought three or four let's do this hey Alexis finding this to be very difficult space wise oh my god it's so difficult to move it through these trees Oh no. Oh god, this is so this is so dodgy. Not being able to run, not wanting to run. Man, it's, it's maneuvering around being safe is difficult. And at the moment, Alexi keeps picking up more zombies. This is gonna take a while. Let's hope we got enough weapons and let's hope we got enough beta blockers. Okay, so Alexi's chugged his second uh, beta blocker. Oh, let's just go with the battle. Oh my god, this is so dangerous. Okay, Alexi can't afford to mess around. We're going to go with the spear. Man, there are so many zombies. Maybe driving right into the center of town like this was a real bad idea. We're going nuclear now. We got the uh, spear with a hunting knife. Hopefully we've got a little bit of a, enough space now. And start thinning out the horde rather than watching it get bigger because at the moment it's getting bigger but man we need more spears with hunting knives okay well, as the spear leveled up really really struggling I uh, just keep maneuvering around picking up more zombies uh, but it's proven really difficult to stay in the same single little area because the space is so enclosed very difficult to um, 
to double back. This spear with hunting knife is not going to last very long, but it is, it is pretty deadly. Let's do this. Okay, I've got a stun and get a good, better feeling about this now. I think we've got a bit of space ahead of us. Alex has just taken down four zombies in one go. Please don't run. And there goes another spear. Let's just let's just go with a police baton. Uh, Struggling with a different range there. Uh, let's let's go back to the spear. Let's just try and finish this. Okay, so the way ahead looks clear. So we've had to maneuver around quite a lot and it's forced Alexi to pick up more zombies, but the way behind him is pretty clear. So hopefully we can settle this fight and come out on top. Still a lot of work to do you so still though. Man, that is like eight or nine one shots in a row. This hunted this spears, they are immense. We need more spears. Okay, well that was good timing. That was the last zombie. And I think that was the last spear as well. They do not last very long. Alexi needs a break after all that drama. Let's have an orange soda, let's have a smoke, and let's backtrack to the vehicle and let's start exploring, seeing what is around. Hopefully, it'll be worth it. Here's Alexis just looking through the corpses for anything that we use for when we found some more smokes. You can see there's a lot of dead bodies. That was a lot of hard work for Alexi. Uh, maybe we should maybe not be so reckless next time. That could have gone wrong so many occasions just like that and it could have all been over. Okay, so Alexis had some food. He's had a drink. He's had a smoke. Apart from that one. Uh, there isn't a zombie as far as Alexi can see, so he's feeling a little bit more in control of the situation. Okay, so in, in more good news, Alexi was just replacing his bandage, and already that scratch is healed, so no more limps. Alexi can move around freely. Uh, let me just show everybody, let me show you all where we are and what Alexi's plan is. Okay, so we have driven far to the east I, mean, I don't know if we'd even be able to see that's our little safe house that's our little rural community with the safe house we've driven all the way along this road and there is a zombie of course there is and we're in this small town when i say small town i mean it's a little bit bigger than the the rural community and there's always always another oh no oh my God, wow, wow, that was close, that was close, that zombie, Ooh, what is going on, man, Alex is on, he's on edge, oh, really, there's always another zombie, where are these guys coming from, and we're parked up by what I expect will be a school, we'll, hopefully we'll have a big car park, there are definitely no more zombies now. That's the big car park, so hopefully we're looking for some vehicles. Uh, but let me just finish off showing the area of the town so you can see what the plan is. We're, this is where we are. We're right in the center of town. We drove right through, stopped there. So we attracted all the zombies really in this whole area. Uh, we wanted to stop by the restaurant uh, and maybe that's that's the school, maybe of some sort. Hopefully there'll be a lot of car parks. Alexi's on the lookout for a vehicle, but this is the real prize. This is why he wanted to come in from the south rather than the north. He wants to try and avoid these tower blocks. Uh, we can't afford to fight every single zombie that's here. Probably haven't got enough weapons. But we want to do fight, want to fight our way to this medical area. Uh, it is already 5.20. Let's get on with it. Okay, so let's just hop the fence. Seeing quite a few big buildings up ahead. What this building is, I do not know. There is a market stall of some sort okay one down effortlessly hopefully there shouldn't be any zombies from behind famous last words and we're gonna alexi did repair his spear with hunting knife because that was by far the most effective 
Now, it doesn't have much condition there, so we're going to be looking to keep that for when we really do have a big hoard, just a little bit like earlier. Man, but Alexi really, really needs to pick up the pace because it also needs to find somewhere safe to sleep tonight. Okay, so we've got just a few more zombies out front. So hopefully this will be quick and easy. That's what we want. We want meds. We need beta blockers. We need painkillers. Uh, we need, yeah, antidepressants. We need more weapons. There isn't, there's just not enough weapons in his bag for all the zombies he's going to have to fight. Okay, so this is the first building, and yeah, we got an amusement arcade. Uh, not going to be much in the way of useful gear like tools and stuff. We might find a few morsels of food, but let's make this quick and move on. Inside, we've got back kitchen. Let's take the opportunity to fill up the water, maybe find a few bits of food. Okay, absolutely nothing in the kitchen, and Alexi's kind of really tempted. Uh, to come back here, uh, well, to have, play a few games now, especially the Spiffo one. Uh, but we haven't got much light, light left in the day. He doesn't want to be caught out here, kind of in the middle of nowhere, uh, whilst it's dark. Uh, so let's not get distracted. Okay, there's nothing else here. Let's move on. It is already 6.40 and Alexi getting tired. Uh, so let's just, let's chow down on some tea before we move on. Okay, Alex has made pretty short work of another small group of zombies. Let's check out the market next door. Hopefully we can grab quite a significant amount of food. We can never have enough food. Okay, so right outside the market, just the one zombie. It's big. It is big, in fact we got a couple Let's hope we can, well, maybe we can find some alcohol because it's definitely Alexis never going to have enough of that. Okay, no alarm. Let's let's fill the bag. Okay, this is what we want to see. We want to get a lot of food. Okay, that is that place cleared and boy, Alexi is really eating well today. Orange sodas, chips, all sorts. He does need to pile on the pounds. This physical effort of the last few weeks he is losing weight, but the bag is full uh, and it is getting dark. Uh, so let's uh, sort out Alexis' uh, inventory. Let's fill up a loot bag and let's. We gotta start. Come, we gotta come up with a plan on where to sleep tonight. Okay, it has taken quite a long time. Longer than you might expect, but Alexis had a lot of loot, a lot of food, and he's had a decision to make. Do we stay in town, try and find somewhere? safe to sleep here or do we find somewhere a little bit more secluded a little bit out of town now just back a ways near the gas station uh, there is uh, looking at the map there is some sort of farmhouse some sort of house it's in the middle of nowhere so if there are any zombies hopefully only be five or six so we're gonna go there if we tried to get into one of the tower blocks here it could go wrong so easily so we're gonna drive back out of town be risk averse. We don't want to stay here. All the houses a single story and there's a lot of zombies around. So let's drive back out of town, find somewhere safe, secluded, where there hopefully won't be that many zombies. Okay, so Alex is just coming up and well I hope some sort of farmhouse. But man, it is dark. It is dark. We haven't seen a single zombie on the road the whole way here really really is hopefully in the middle of nowhere but I'm not going any further until I've got a hand torch okay now we can see what the hell is going on now no zombie has come out to say hi as a result of uh, Alexi pulling up in the car looks like we're in luck we'll leave any sort of looting until the morning let's hope there's no alarm oh what the hell there's the panic attacks there's definitely a zombie in there. Let's try and figure out where they are before we go inside. Yeah. <laughs> there they are. There they are. In case uh, you didn't realise. Hopefully it's just the one. It always pays to be careful. Okay. 
and it is still difficult to see in there let's go let's go in through here because this is the biggest room and few no alarms let's close the curtains I always feel more safe with the curtains being closed uh, but yeah Alexi didn't quite make the progress oh man I'm not going in there without a torch Alexi didn't quite make the progress he was hoping for uh, we've got some batteries but you know more importantly he lives to fight another day he's a, only a short drive away from town uh, so uh, he's got another opportunity to get into town loot the gear that he wants um, there's no need to push it too much let's make sure this house definitely clear of zombies well Alex is on the road. This is the sort of life he's going to have now. Loot runs. Uh, not uh, sneaking around and scavenging. Uh, living day to day. He's hopefully got the opportunity to really start building a life for himself. Uh, but for now, that is going to have to be all. It's time for Alexi to get some rest, get some sleep. And he goes again tomorrow. If we're going back into town hopefully fighting his way through to that medical center that hospital hopefully get some really really valuable medical supplies but for now that's all peace <laughs>